Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another worthless episode of Resident Evil. Brought to you by the RTK channel. Yeah, that was a nice introduction there, Cory. No, really. We're not. We're not. We're not really worthless. No. Well, I'm worthless, but. Hey. Hey. Have we mentioned this before that we're all worthless? Yeah, fucking Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Hi, buddy! No one cares! Stairs cares? Well, that's because backs can't go up them. Um, anyway. Uh, moving on. So we're going this we thrilling and exciting episode of the Resident Evil Let's Play, Jill is going to move a little Not really. We're act what I'm what in this episode is basically is going to be wrapping up some uh, co final collecting points because the next episode we will be moving on to a new location. Oh, okay, very well. In this thrilling and exciting episode of Resident Evil, Jill does shit. Essentially. Oh, by the way, we're not going to be thinking about her. We're going to be saving that for later because Richard is a corpse on the ground. Hi, Richard. Bye, Richard. Bye, Richard. You say. I know. No one cares, you're probably gonna- I hope that is not Chris's blood. Shut up, Barry. He is useless, I swear to God. I know Barry, Barry Burton's just out back. Barry out. Burton is awesome, but he's only mentioned twice. He, he he gets mentioned this game, and he gets a cameo at the third one. He's just out back taking curry for a walk. Uh-huh. Yin Yang! Yin Yang! Do your job! Oh, I'm only just having a cigarette break. I'll be, I'll be back on the job Get in a minute. Get back in there now! I'm now. having my union. I need a sit. I'll get in there in a minute and shut your face. Now! Listen. Uh, Jill needs to have her face bit off. Woo! Oh, very nice. Oh, there's a cupboard. And in this cupboard, you will find... More acid rounds. Essentially, Christ, essentially the, the ass, I'm going to have to go for the explanation of the rounds you get in this game. The, essentially the bazooka is essentially a, uh, just a basically a gun that becomes the grenade launcher in the sequels. The grenade launcher is one of the most successful and powerful weapons in the series. You get three ammunition rounds. You get the regular explosive round, you get the uh, flame round, which are really powerful, and you get the acid rounds. In future Resident Evil titles, particular Resident Evil 3, you get the old God Almighty, um, shit. Oh, the God freeze God rounds. Okay. The freeze rounds are oh, fucking... Oh yeah, you see them in Mom vs. Skycons, right? Yeah, they're fucking godly, those that ammunition. They're so rare, but they're so powerful, the, too. The fuck? What? Um... Uh, James, you're not gonna like this costume that I've unlocked for Deadpool. What is it? Um, I'm actually gonna see if I can find an image for it. Oh, I'm looking at it. Meanwhile, meanwhile. Oh, I, I just thought actually. You know what? A good game you could do for the for the uh, the channel. What's a good game we could do for the channel? Cannon Spike. Cannon. That's a Dreamcast game. Yeah. So. Dreamcast Emmy, that is a hard to fucking fuck. Dreamcast Emmy. Cory's got a drink. Cory's got a drink. Dreamcast, but I got a drink. I've got a Dreamcast Emmy. But you got to record that shit too. I'm not a chick. Cannon Spike was fucking awesome, dude. Isn't that, isn't that like old Mega Man in it? It's, uh, from what I remember, Cannon Spike is like this side, like, 3D, uh, side scrolling shooter where you can play as characters like Arthur from Pools and Ghosts, Cammy from Street Fire, BB Hood from Darkstalkers, and Mega Man from, well, Mega, Mega Man. Man. It's kind of like, I guess, the closest thing you're gonna get to a Capcom Smash Brothers, but instead of, like, fighting and shooting. Interesting. And Mega Man has roller skates. Wait. Why would he fuck? Why would he Because, Mega like, the way the characters move is like a fast pace sort of thing, so they gave Mega Man kind of like a, a Shadow of the Hedgehog like skating motion. Yeah, okay, that was kind of interesting. Fucking good times, dude. I mean, yeah. It's just like Dreamcast for that game. And considering the games that I kindly want to get stuck to do is to say it's essentially Silent Hill, which is fucking scary, more scary than Slender Man, and Parasite Eve, because there are so many fucking jokes you can make in that game. And in this room, 
is a tiger. A tiger, tiger, burning bright. Stick a gem in its eye. Turn around and all of a sudden, it's a fucking crest of wind. The last one. That's the last one. That's the last crest we need. Yes, essentially, that that's correct, because uh, at this point in the game, you'll realize the pistol is just fucking useless. Not unless you get infinite ammo. Infinite ammo, but really, you got, considering the amount of enemies, they get stronger in the next, in every progression. Yeah, not the best thing, especially when those fucking hunters show up. Oh, God. I remember, like, for Resident Evil 2, for the GameCube, there's, like, a rookie mode, which gives you an unlimited, like, handgun machine gun thing. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, it's like easy mode and shit. Yeah, you just piss through that one board, so... Yeah, that's because the game is fun. So, now, we have completed everything in the mansion. We've got all the other uh, the crests that we need. The good news is we can finally move on! We've got to bother the neighbor. Yes, we can finally go outside. Go back outside. Oh wait. Can you play Minecraft? God damn it, Gary. <sighs> Tiny terror. Woo. I don't know. Pick her up and throw out with things. Tiny terror. There's fucking nothing that there we can. Running and running, and running and running. Today on Desperate Housewives, Jill Valentine tries to find a friend. Considering how, considering in this place, no friends is better than some friends. But they're probably drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> what do you think of zombies is your thing? I was doing silver, you bastard. Oh, you know you. It's no use! No fucking use! The economy is no use. The, the economy is no fucking use! We're just talking shit now because... Of course this is, this is... Ladies and gentlemen, this is padding until something good happens. Which is going to happen in the next part. Okay, Bizarre. I can't find okay. a picture of it anyway, but basically he's in one of those tiny... Like... You know, the sex is made out of it. The one that you like... Um, what? Fr French man. <laughs> Deadpool the French yes. maid, awesome. <laughs>